Hey guys and welcome to my channel. I wanted to give you guys three survival tips for surviving the narcissist hoovers. I've made plenty of videos about the narcissist hoovers. Um, you can check them out in the narcissist hoover playlist. All right, along with this one. Um, this is so important because maintaining the no contact is really you know, the part that is setting you free along with, you know, obviously mentally being in total agreement and acceptance as to why you're going no contact for those of you who can. And for those of you who are co-parenting, you know, as far as gray rocking and setting the boundaries um, and enforcing them. All right. So surviving the narcissist hoovers. This is basically three things that you can take, whether you are completely no contact or if you have to co-parent or interact with a narcissist on some level, you can still utilize these three tips. So the first thing on my list is believe who and what they showed you in the past. Believe who and what they showed you in the past, okay? The lies, the games, the cheating, the manipulation, the abuse, okay? A lot of times the narcissist has gotten physical with you. And then, of course, there's verbal abuse, emotional and psychological abuse. There is financial abuse. So, you know, the narcissist, chances are, has done a lot to you in the past. And you have to believe that. You have to believe that and remember that when they are, you know, trying to reach out for your attention again all right because sometimes um, they might hoover you in a positive note meaning trying to act like they're going to be um, things are going to be different now they've learned their lesson that trying to act like they have some kind of remorse or you know trying to basically love bomb you um, a lot of times they'll hoover you and they won't bring up all the things they did in the past because they don't want to address it. They don't want to face it. They don't want to take accountability. But what they will do is try to come into your life on a positive note and love bomb you in areas that they were successful with in the past, like try to pick up from there and therefore, you know, starting that cycle all over again. But we have to believe who they showed us. You know, that's what Maya Angelou used to say and Oprah, you know, adopted that quote, believe um, people when they show you who they are. All right. Um, because they will try to act like they changed. Now, on the flip side, a narcissist can hoover you on a negative note. They have that narcissistic injury. You're not talking to them. And then the mask really drops. So they're hoovering you in for an argument by verbally abusing you, calling you names, um, you know, tr trying to trigger you in the trauma bond that they created with you and further like crush your self-esteem, etc. All right. So you have to be careful because like I said, they'll take negative and positive interactions with you. All right. So believe who they showed you who they were. All right. The next thing that I have on my list is you don't owe them nothing. A lot of times survivors feel like they owe them something because a narcissist will say any and everything to get you to break that no contact, you know, but you don't owe them your resources. You don't owe them an explanation. You don't owe them a response. You don't owe them an opportunity. You don't owe them any more of your energy. You don't owe them your presence. You don't owe them your care and you don't owe them any more of your time. You do not owe them any more of your time, but somehow a lot of times, um, you know, they keep playing on your empathy and your sympathy. They keep trying to trigger you into guilt and shame. Um, they try to triangulate you with people, places, and things, but we have to realize that they're going to try to do this. Number one, first and foremost. All right. But you have to realize you don't owe them anything. As, men, as a matter of fact, they stole from you. They got more than they could ever deserve from you. You owe them nothing. They'll use the fact that you have children. Okay, they'll use a fact that they have a piece of clothing at your house. Like they will, you know, they'll call your relatives and friends. They do all types of things, guys, to try to hoover you back in. 
but you have to recognize how they manipulate and how they move. But you have to know that you don't owe them anything. Okay? They will say, I'm going to kill myself. You know, they'll threaten to harm themselves. They'll threaten to harm you. Like, they will take, they'll try to do it out of, you know, get you into fear. Of course, fear that they'll hurt themselves or fear that they'll hurt you or, you know, they, they'll do anything. They'll try to trigger you in any way. But you don't owe them anything. And you certainly don't have to walk in fear. All right. If they want to hurt themselves, they got to go seek help that you have nothing to do with that. And these narcissists are lying when they say that. So don't fall for it to begin with. All right. The third thing that I have on my list here is take control of your time and reclaim your schedule. You're like, huh? Huh? Because you got to understand, you know, when the narcissist is doing this cycle of abuse, you're on their time. They're hoovering you back when they want to. <laughs> now they want to mess with you. Now they want to play with your time again. Now they want to take you off the shelf. So when you, when you realize this and, and the whole broad scheme of thing, you're looking at the whole picture, you will see what's really going on when you really understand this personality disorder, how it operates, and what these phases truly mean, dissecting it and really understanding that. They're trying to put you back on their time now. No, it's time for you to be on your time. And your time doesn't allow for the fuckery. Your time doesn't allow for someone to come in and play with your emotions, lie, manipulate, steal, cheat. Your time doesn't allow for the abuse anymore. So you have to take control of your time and reclaim your schedule. If you're no contact, you want to stay on your path. You want to keep your head looking forward. You've done enough to even get to that point, okay? You don't want to um, throw it all away over a toxic hoover from a toxic person, okay? Because they just want to suck you back into the cycle of abuse. All right, guys, so I hope that these three tips will help you in surviving when that narcissist tries to hoover because I know that they, they keep going. They see one thing doesn't work, okay, I'm going to try to get this angle. They're going through their emotional intelligence, what they know about you. They're trying to pull your strings, push your buttons. Like they really want you to break it. But you have to step into your logic so that you can survive that narcissist hoover. Okay, because they're not going to change like I told you. But you can change. And all the work that you're doing to change your perceptions, to change your mentality, to create new pathways for the neurons in your brain to get over that trauma. So everything that you're doing for your wellness period. All right, guys. So if this video has helped you, if it resonates with you, go ahead and hit the like button. If you haven't done so, please feel free to subscribe to my channel. Over 400 videos here, guys, to help you stay narcissistic free to help you even understand what narcissistic abuse is to help you increase your emotional maturity or your emotional intelligence to help you with the shadow work with yourself to help you understand psychology more to help you understand relationships especially the one with yourself all right i do offer coaching sessions if you need one-on-one -on -one personal um, help and I do actually recommend this for all survivors watching the YouTube videos are wonderful and great and helpful but that one-on-one -on -one is always going to take you to the next level and because it's very very specific to your particular situation I make these general videos so that it could generally help the general person that's going to come to my channel but you could understand that you know that one-on-one -on -one is just going to be that much more potent for you all right. I had to do it. I made those investments. You see where it has led me in life. I highly recommend this for all survivors. Most survivors are not used to putting into themselves. They're not used to putting themselves first. They're not used to treating themselves. And this isn't even really treating. This is just a part of your health, like going to the doctors. You know, it shouldn't even be looked at as treating yourself. But the survivors aren't even used to that a lot of times. 
okay? Just giving and giving to everyone but themselves. It's time now to invest in yourself, all right? I've written four ther- therapeutic books. Um, that's on my website as well where you can schedule your appointments. I have a, a support group on Facebook, Lakia Reflection and Progression Crawford. That link is below this video and all of my videos. Um, the channel does accept donations. I say that here and there. But um, great mm-hmm. ways to just support the channel off the bat is liking my videos, commenting, sharing the videos. It helps YouTube algorithm push the videos forward. But yes, I do accept donations on Cash App, on PayPal, on Venmo. Um, I have a wish list on Amazon. Anyone's free to send Coach Lakia a gift. Everything is all welcome and what goes around comes around. Um, And many blessings to everyone, okay? Thank you guys for all the support and love that you showed to my channel. Please continue to do the work on your healing and maintaining it as well, okay? Because it never hurts to stay on top of understanding these things because understanding psychology could take you far in life anyway because you're interacting with people, places, and things. It's important to understand yourself and others, you know, be able to see these angles, all right? Okay, guys, and with that being said, um, please take care until next time.